Hello everybody, um, getting ready to do the worst albums of 2013 and this is going to be one hell of a list because most of these bands I really really thought they would have done great but they didn't and here we go. <sighs> Number 10, I know you guys are going to be like what the fuck? But here we go. Number 10, Rob Zombie, Venomous, Rat, Regeneration, Vendor. I gave this album a chance. You know, I did. I love Rob Zombie. I really do. But I heard this album, and it's like, what the fuck is this? You listen to it, and it's like a, it's like a carnival. It's like a... I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it, but it just did not... No. I, I don't know. It just didn't... I don't know. For some reason, it didn't... Uh, it just doesn't register. And then you look at the, the video for it, and it's all weird as fuck. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm used to White Zombie. I, I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know. That's number 10 for me, Rob Zombie. I just couldn't get into it this year. Sorry, Rob. Here we go. Number 9. Born of Osiris. Tomorrow We Die Live. I, man, I was really looking forward to this album, really, really, because, man, they, they went up to an all-time high with their last album, and, you know, their old stuff is really good, too, so I was looking for another good album, and then all of a sudden we get Tomorrow We Die Alive, generic riffs, and drums that we've heard before, the vocals really haven't changed at all, it's like, I, I, you know, just generic, it's like, oh, man, you know, I think they they could have done a lot better. It was more of a, just a letdown than anything. So, yeah, Born Will Cyrus. Number eight. A lot of people might give me shit for this one. I really don't care. But number eight is going to be Bullet For My Valentine, Temper Temper. I like this album. I really did. But the more I listened to it, the more I thought, wow, these are just reused ideas over and over and over and over. You know, it's like, come on, you can only make one song and only reuse them a certain amount of times before they just get fucking old. So, you know, come on, both of my Valentine. Pull out another. I know you guys, you guys have the talent. You guys have some really great talent. I've seen you guys live. You guys kill on stage. So please... Don't reuse any more ideas. Just make new ones and go from there. No more reusing ideas, okay? Seriously. All right, number seven. It, they're they're going to be on my shit list. Number seven is Drowning Pool Resilience. The reason why I really don't like this album is just because of the just the story behind the band, basically. You know. Johnny Paul is one of those bands that was really cool with Pantera. They were really cool. Dave Williams was really close to Dime, and I really loved him back then. Once Dave died, the band had been going through a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble, and they just can't seem to find someone, a, a front man, to go up there and give them that pushback. They can't find someone to be like, wow, Drowning Pool's awesome. You go up there and you hear the front man and they're, it's like, man, you, you know, it makes you miss Dave way more than ever. And I really think until they find the person, a front man, that can do what Dave did, which is going to be nearly impossible. I don't know. I, w I really would have liked to have just had a... An instrumental, to be honest with you. I mean, if they turned it into an instrumental, I think, I think it would have been fine. So I just couldn't take the vocals, and uh, so sorry about that. Um, and uh, here we go. Uh, let's do a uh, trivium. Trivium is my number six pick with Vengeance Falls. I just I could not get into this album. I've listened to it about six seven times already I just can't get into it nothing really exciting I mean like maybe like a a few ten second parts out of each song really is like oh and then you're done it's like oh alright back to the generic riffs I don't know 
I know these guys have the talent to do it, of course. As you see in their earlier albums, they really, you know, they knock it out of the park. But with this one, they're just, they're not there. Not there at all. So, Trivium, get your shit back and, you know, get going again. Number five. I really expected high hopes with this one, but you know what? Number five is going to be Quorum, The Paradigm Shift. I expected high hopes. I really did. I'm thinking one day Quorum is going to come back and be as heavy as they used to be. I'm really starting to just, you know, every time they come out with an album and I give it a chance, they always let me the fuck down. So, The Paradigm Shift, it's, it's kind of like more electronic bullshit. You know, there's a few heavy songs in there, but it, they just re it's more of a letdown album than anything. It's like, man, come on, just go back to your old heavy self and do that. Do the heavy, heavy stuff. That's what we want. We don't want this electronic dubstep bullshit that you've been putting out for the past two or three years. It's, it's just shit, you know? We, we want the old corn. That's what people want, so... If you could do that, corn, thanks. Um, number four. Here we go. I really, really fucking hate this band. I hate them more than ever. I don't know why I'm even, even stating them. But here we go. Number four are the Black Veil Brides with the Ratched and Divine album. It's just fucking bullshit. I hate these guys. You know, they think they can just come out, win album of the year, talk shit, and then leave. You know what? The people that really like this band are either fucking like 12 years old and oh, the Black Veil Brides or you're just fucking dumb. You know, like seriously. No one in their right mind is going to like a band that are, are trying to go for the 80s style, you know, with the makeup and the poofy hair and all that bullshit. You know what? The 80s are calling motherfuckers. They don't want that shit coming back, you know? And the people, you know, like Motley Crue, Motley Crue can do it. You guys can't. You guys fucking suck. So, you know, fuck the Black Veil Brides. Fuck that album. It, it's, just, it's just bullshit. You know, fuck them. So, something a little bit worse than that. I, I never got into the band. I don't know why I even... Number three is Megadeth, Super Collider. I don't know what, you know what, I think if, they, if Dave Mustaine just turns into a full-time guitar player and does not sing, I would love Megadeth so much more, but when I hear a Megadeth album and I hear, oh yeah, he's going to kill you, dun, 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 dun. oh my god, it's like, really, Megadeth, really, the, the, the vocals ruin you guys, the vocals really kill. I mean, seriously, just turn everything instrumental or get a better front man. I, I, j I just cannot take the voice. And, you know, even Super Collider, the instrumentals wasn't really that good either. Uh, it was more of just a letdown, if anything. Because I, I really, I was kind of getting into 13, even though the vocals were shit. I, I really was, so, whatever, let me down again, I don't care. Oh my god, number two... Ah, this this list is killing me, you guys. You guys, are killing me. Number two, god damn. Number two, here we go. All right, we're almost done here. Uh, five finger death punch, the wrong side of heaven, and the righteous side of hell, or whatever the fuck. Part one and two. You know, <clears throat> they both suck. You know, I might as well just do them both because they're both are. The, fir the first album really fucking sucks. And the second one, I, I really thought it had potential with Rob Halford, some really cool guest people, you know, David Drainman and everything. You know, I, I really thought it had some potential, but really, it really didn't. It, it's just, it's radio-friendly bullshit that's been going around the radio this whole year. You cannot turn on the radio without hearing... Oh, 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 it's like, come on, Five Finger Death Punch. Stop sounding like fucking, you know, bullshit and make some decent songs. You guys have the talent to make a really, really heavy album. 
but you guys just you guys are just begging to be on the radio. Oh, get us on the radio. Oh, it'll sell albums. Well, of course it's going to sell albums, but if you want to be a real true metal band, make a true metal album. It's none of this radio bullshit. The 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 day that you put an album out and you're not on the radio, it won't be on my it won't be on my shit list. It won't be, you know. But since all I hear you guys is on the radio, yeah, that's really metal, you guys. Really metal. Yeah, on the radio, so every every pop girl and everybody can hear you guys. You know, underground forever. Here we go. Number one, Queen's Reich with Jeff Tate, Frequency Unknown. This is the biggest piece of shit rushed album that I have ever heard. I mean, even the reason, most of the reason why I hate this, not only does the music suck, seriously, but just because of the dick face Jeff Tate, he thinks that because uh, he did such a great, 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 great things with, you know, with Queens, Queensryche back in the day, he thinks he can just come back and, and do the same with Queensryche. Well, you know what? You kind of can't do that. You know, I mean, you, you can try. Go ahead. But I just, I don't think he he has the, the power to do it. I don't think he has the push that he's going to make Queen's right the way he used to. I don't think he can. And, you know, them fighting over the name Queen's right, it, you know, fuck it. You know, it, it's... It's just one big bullshit clusterfuck of a, of a band. And with Jeff Tate, you know, ranting and being a pussy bitch. Oh, Queensryche's my band. Oh, you know, fuck you, Jeff. You know? Just fuck I think Queensryche's gonna be done. They're done for good. Every album since they came out with here in the later years have just... Just fuck it, you know? Quit... Everyone, stop listening to them. Quit the band. They suck now. They suck. So, God, that list was hard to do. A lot hard to do. And you know what, guys? I, I forgot to mention. I should put an R. Actually, I'll do an honorable mention. I actually forgot to do something. I'll do an honorable mention right now. Another sucky ass band with a sucky ass album. Honorable mention. Here we go. I, I didn't. I didn't put them in the list. But if I was going to. I would have probably switched Rob Zombie's Venomous, Re Venomous Rat Regeneration Vendor for Device Device. Because you know what? That deserves to be in this list, but I forgot to put it on there for some reason. I didn't think about it until David Drain. I thought about David Draymond, so here we go. Device Device. Overused. Just riffs every time. Every song is a riff that you've already heard before. And David Draymond's vocals are not the same anymore. They just suck. And it, none of the songs are, are really kicking. They, there's none that are like, oh my god, that is awesome. No, there's, not, there's none of that going on in that album. Big disappointment. Huge disappointment. But, you know, industrial, uh, what would you expect? Industrial David Draymond? I don't think so. It ain't going to work. So, sorry about that, guys. Sorry I forgot about that one. So, fuck it. I'm done. That, voice, that list killed me. So, all right. Peace out.